Hey guys, Jets Takeoff. So the Eagles have just fired head coach Doug Peterson. He's out after five years. They finished 4-11 and won the season, and they were too disappointed that they let him go. It's kind of a shocker to be honest, but let's just jump into the topic of should the Jets hire Doug Peterson as the next head coach? So Doug Peterson to the Jets, it actually makes a lot of sense. Now, number one is his connection with Joe Douglas. Both of them worked in Philadelphia, did win a Super Bowl together, and Joe Douglas was a key person that put together pieces for Doug Peterson's team that got them to the Super Bowl. So they go back, they know each other, and that's why it's realistic. Now, if you look at Doug Peterson's overall work, it's actually pretty impressive. In his first season, they went 7-9. and nine. It was Carson Wentz's rookie year. So, I mean, you're not, you're not expecting much from that. But then, the next year, Carson Wentz is playing like an MVP. He gets hurt. So, all Eagles fans are like, the season is done. No one believes in Philly. Nick Foles, the backup quarterback, steps in. And what do you know? They win a Super Bowl. Doug Peterson wins a Super Bowl with a backup quarterback, and they beat Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. That's super impressive. It's the first Super Bowl win that the Eagles have ever had. And, I mean, you just, you gotta credit Doug Peterson. And yeah, you credit the GM and Joe Douglas for putting a really talented team around Doug Peterson. But, I mean, making it work with a backup quarterback, that's extremely hard. And it shows that even if the starter is maybe hurt, say we draft Justin Fields and our backup is playing, Doug Peterson can still win games with a backup quarterback. That's something that's really underrated. And kind of similar is Doug Peterson can develop a rookie quarterback. Now, people are going to say Carson Wentz has regressed, and he has. But it's not all on Doug Peterson. You have to remember the Eagles team is terrible right now. They have almost no viable receivers. I mean, you have J.J. Arcega-Whiteside starting, and Alshon Jeffrey, who runs routes so badly. Not to mention, they had, I think it was 14 different starting offensive line combinations. That's not a recipe for success. No quarterback can succeed in that. Not even Tom Brady. Let's just be honest. So the circumstances were extremely difficult for Carson Wentz. And yeah, Jalen Hurts did okay. It's more because he's more mobile. But Doug Peterson can develop a quarterback. And we're most likely going to draft Justin Fields or Zach Wilson. So I think this is a huge reason for why we should bring in Doug Peterson. Because he has developed a quarterback before. And he's worked under Andy Reid, one of the brilliant offensive minds in the league. Unlike Adam Gase, he's actually an offensive guy. He knows his football. Now, there is one knock to Doug Peterson, and that's going for two and four downs. That's the one area where I am not a fan of Doug Peterson. I think he needs to pump the brakes and just, just play safe, man. Just kick the field goal. Just kick the extra point. We don't need to spend too much time on analytics, but I hope he just turns it down if we were to hire him. But do I think that the Jets will hire Doug Peterson? I'm not sure, because... We are looking for a CEO type of head coach. Doug Peterson does not really seem to be the head coach executive style, but he does know offense, and we're going to be drafting a rookie quarterback, and he has ties to Joe Douglas. He's a proven guy who's won a Super Bowl. So all of those factors, it makes it seem that a team like the Jets should hire a proven guy. However, he has or he did lose the locker room in Philly by purposely tanking the game pretty much. Now, I know he did say he was going to get Nate Sudfeld some time, but, I mean, you're still trying to win the game, and they basically gave up at that point. So, players are very unhappy with that decision, and he did lose the locker room, so that is a huge issue because we cannot have a fallen apart locker room again. It just can't happen. So, I'd, I'd, if we went ahead and hired Doug Peterson tomorrow, I'd like it. I really would like that. I think people give him too much hate. You have to remember, he made it to the postseason in three out of his five years. And Carson Wentz, I mean, last year, they had no receivers too, but at least their O-line was consistent. And he could still win with, like, nobody to throw to. That's the impressive thing. Doug Peterson can develop a quarterback. He can turn around this offense that's ranked bottom two the past two years. And he's a proven guy. So let me know what you guys think. This is Jets Takeoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.